Welcome back. Nate Cranston again with you from Weller Truck Parts, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, we're in the valve body room again today. I uh, just wanted to give some tips and tricks on how to properly assemble the valve body and Allison transmission right here. I've got a shift half of a valve body from a 1000 series transmission. And uh, we're gonna go through and put the shift valves in and the springs. And I uh, just wanna make sure that, you know, we get it put together and when it goes into the truck, that it works right. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, we use a bench buddy bore brush. This is the 14 millimeter. So we're just gonna clean out the holes, any soap residue um, or, or scum that's on the inside of the valve bore. Next thing we wanna do is get the proper valve. So for a 1000 series transmission, there are three shift valves and there's a control main pressure valve. You wanna inspect the valves, make sure they don't have any scratches. You can see any little scratch or ding is gonna cause a problem going into the bore. When you're disassembling the valve body, if you drop a valve on a steel bench, from any more than six inches, it's gonna have a dent in the valve and it's not gonna go in the bore properly. So these are very delicate valves. You gotta make sure that they're, that they're in perfect shape. So this valve is now bad that I just dropped. I'm gonna check another one, make sure that there's no scratches and there's no dents in the valve. This one looks good. I'm gonna drop it in. The valve should move under their own weight. So if you drop the valve in and you have to force it in, it's not going to work. You can always use a piece of Scotch-Brite and just very lightly and gently polish it until it looks like new. There's no more scratch. We're going to drop it in the bore. If you hear the ting and you can move it under its own weight, it's going to work when it goes in. This one needs some polishing, so I'm going to polish it. Drop it in. It should fall down under its own weight and you should hear it bounce. After you've got all the valves in, you kind of cover all the holes with your fingers. You should hear them all ting, and you should feel all the valves hit your fingers when you shake it up and down. After the valves are all in, we're gonna put the shift springs in. We're gonna put the control main spring in, and then we're gonna pin them down with the retainers. Your shift valve three, and your shift valve two have aluminum stoppers. After all of your valves and springs and stoppers are retained in with the flips, we're gonna put in the manual selector valve that has a, a pin that slots into the manual valve. You kind of just hold it like this and drop it in. And then there's a, a plastic piece. You just kind of tap it. And that should move under its own weight, just like all the rest of the valves. And then always remember to put your solenoid screen in. That keeps any debris out of the solenoids. And that's how we're going to assemble the 1000-2000 series Allison Transmission Valve Body Shift Half. Thank you for watching. And again, remember, if you ever have questions or need tech support with Allison Transmission, don't hesitate to give us a call, 800-872-6697. Thanks for watching.